We're approaching the Tanawan Country Club area. As we're turning left, we're turning into the um, the gates. And once we get through the gates, I'll continue video videoing. But I just want to show you, it is a gated community with 24-hour manned security. Okay, we've gone through the gates, and I'm just going to go forward. I want to first drive by the Country Club itself. Sorry, there's a glare coming through the windshield, it looks like. You can see it's pretty uh, green. Tanawan was built in the late 70s and throughout the 80s. It was a, probably the most popular uh, place to build a home in the far northeast heights at the time. It's near the intersections of Academy and Eubank. You can see the mountains over there to your right. Uh, it's got great views. The Country Club is uh, built in a kind of a mission style Santa Barbara look. Nothing too fancy about it, but it's a it's a, it's a nice facility. It's got restaurant, banquet, uh, ballroom type stuff. You can see the golf course is kind of surrounding the area there. And then I'll continue driving through uh, a couple of the neighborhoods to kind of give you a feel for what the homes and the streets look like in Tanawan. And then right through there is their swimming pool and then the tennis courts are far or up below that uh, down by the golf course itself. Okay, we've turned on to Country Club Drive. Uh, you can see there's some really beautiful homes in here. Um, a lot of grass in the front yards, a lot of mature trees. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it's got 24-hour security, so it's um, fairly desirable uh, for that reason there. And you can see, because the community is um, older, that um, the landscaping is really nice and mature. They've just put in speed bumps on this street, so hopefully it's not going to jerk the camera too much. What we'll do is we'll just drive through Tanawan to get to the uh, point where you can really see the golf course and get a better idea of the magnitude of it and I think that'll give you a real good idea of what Tanawan is all about. I would say the average home size in Tanawan is probably 2,500 to 4,000 square feet. Got a lady walking her dogs there. And Tanawan is broken up into different little sections depending on what builder um, build it. Like right ahead of us, you can see that's called Inverness. Um, and there are, I would guess, probably 15 different small subdivision names that all together comprise Tanawan. Okay, I turned off the camera for a little while, I didn't want to bore you, but uh, you can see as we're driving through this section, these are a little bit smaller homes. These are built by Centex Homes, which is a national production builder. So I just wanted to show you that uh, all of Tanawan is not giant monster homes. So for retired folks, uh, younger couples just starting out, if they do want to be in the Tanawan area, they can. Uh, there are enough smaller homes um, at lower price points to satisfy most buyers. Okay, as we're coming down the hill here, we're approaching the golf course. I just wanted to drive over in this section so you can get a better idea of the course itself. It's um, 18 holes on this side of Tanawan, which is Tanawan East. I'm going to zoom in there a little bit so you can get a better idea golf cart going by. 
and then there are nine holes on the other side of Eubank called Tanawan West. You can see there are homes on the golf course pretty much all over Tanawan. So it is a, a pretty desirable place to live. Good schools, that sort of thing. Well, I hope that's been a good tour for you to give you an idea of what Tanawan feels and looks like.